Next question is from Katie Conton. What are the pros and cons of drinking coffee versus energy drinks? Oh, yeah. You know, you know what's funny about this is that that coffee is genuinely objectively healthy. Yeah. It's full of antioxidants. They've tried to so hard to create studies where it shows the detriments of coffee yep. uh, to to their dismay. Yeah, I mean, now all of course, you know, caffeine. You can overdo caffeine, and there's a big difference between people in terms of what's too much or what's too little. But that set aside, coffee's natural. It's full of antioxidants. Mm-hmm. It's it's a natural drink that shows lots of health benefits. Energy drinks essentially are trying to recreate what you get from coffee. Now, here's the benefit that I could see from uh, energy drinks or like pre-workouts. Pre-workouts will often include other compounds that might have some benefit like beta alanine, for example, or maybe citrulline might be in there or theanine, an mm. amino acid that balances out uh, the caffeine. But uh, And then here's the other thing. Coffee, some people have an intolerance to. I mean, it is made from beans. Yeah. So for some people, like coffee for me, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it bothers my gut. Sometimes it doesn't. Whereas if I do like a caffeine pill, that never bothers uh, my gut. Well, it kind of reminds me of uh, sort of, uh, I guess, pharmaceuticals versus like uh, herbs or, you know, like kind of going a little bit more in that direction, like something that's a little more uh, condensed, like versus, uh, you know, like artificially manufactured versus something that you can just grind up and take off of a tree. Uh, and so there's some like natural pathways there for the body to absorb it. Uh, but yeah, I, as long as you're not adding all these extra, um, items in there, which you're going to find in most Starbucks and most, you know, like if it's just like the pure sources coffee and you don't, and you know, your amount, uh, that and how it affects you and you can kind of manage that. Uh, I really don't see a well, whole lot of problem. There's also natural limiters because of that too, yeah. which I think are po- another positive of coffee, right? So even if you, so nitro brew uh, cold pressed coffee is probably the highest level of caffeine. Yeah. One of them, right? Right. Yeah. One, so, and, yeah. but is nothing compared to a rock star, which is pumping out 220, you know, <laughs> milligrams of, of caffeine in a single dose Bro, I had a or pre-workout a pre-workout that's 450 yes. milligrams. Exactly. So you get up there quickly going through coffee is you're probably less likely to overdo it. Right. Even though all the positive health benefits of caffeine and all the research around it that we've, we've seen for the most part, it's pretty good for you. But I do think there, it, it starts to have an adverse effect when you get climb up to a certain amount. I think that's just a lot less likely to happen drinking cups of coffee mm-hmm. versus pre-workouts and taking energy drinks totally. that they've got at 4X the totally. dose. Yeah. Doug, how much coffee would you have to drink to get 400 milligrams of caffeine? Maybe we can look that up. Because that'd be a big ass- it's like a pot of coffee. Right. Yeah. Like you'd have to drink a lot to get that. And I had an energy- I told you guys, was it two weeks ago? When I went to the the supplement store and I got all excited, you know, because I, I do that when those in supplement stores and I said, oh, look at this drink. This is <laughs> this looks fun. Yeah. Uh, and it's like it was a small bottle. It wasn't even that big of a bottle, but it packed a punch, you know. So let's see. What does that say there? <clears throat> yeah. One cup of coffee is 95 milligrams. Four, you have to have more than four cups. Right. So, it, you know, 32 ounces. Yeah. Of coffee just to equal. Do you know what has the most caffeine of uh, of any coffee or whatever? The light brews. The light brews, yeah. I thought yeah. it was the dark ones. I know. It, it would seem that way because yeah. the taste of it is more bold. But yep. No, the, the like the, the, light, the light, like blonde espressos mm-hmm. and stuff like that are the highest. But but yeah, that's my point is that I think that going the natural route, you're less likely to overdo it. Totally. And I think the way they... And, and what I've seen, at least in the last decade with these uh, pre-workouts, is that they just keep pressing, pressing it. And I, I don't think we're going to see it slow down anytime soon as everybody yeah. just keeps kind of- tolerance goes up. Yeah, it keeps go. I mean, it was it used to be a big deal to have 200 milligrams in a pre-workout. Like that was mm. a, like a serious That's pre-workout. That's a starter dose now. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. it's pretty standard to see 300 plus in a pre-workout. So- that's my. That would be my concern of doing it with the. Yeah, it's funny you brought up like the blonde roasting because uh, you know I'm a big like nitro connoisseur, and I had a, a nitro coffee at this like total hipster place, thinking that you know I was gonna have the same experience pretty much out of. But it was. It, I think it was made from a uh, blonde roast, mm. like, and so <laughs> it was like rocket fuel. Like I, I okay. hadn't experienced anything that powerful in a while, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, well, coffee's not sexy. It's cheap. Uh, so the supplement companies aren't gonna promote 
coffee. Yeah. But if you want, here's something you can do is you could buy beta alanine in bulk and it's cheap, right? You could buy citrulline, which is the amino acid supposedly gives you a better pump. You know, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll debate that, but that's fine. You buy that in bulk, buy some theanine in bulk, and then take those with coffee and you've got yourself a great pre-workout and it's cheap. And it's yeah. very now. It's not going to taste like you know bubble gum or you know <laughs> unicorn hair or whatever they they name these things, but it's uh, it's definitely going to give you the same effect. But it's natural. 